This list of fragrances that I put together is going to be heavy on the niche side of things. If you're into niche fragrances, you're gonna love this list. And if you're into Mansara and Montal, you're definitely gonna love this list. Oh, Mansara, so without further ado, let's get into one. I don't hear a lot of talk about this one, and that's what this channel is about. It's about uncommon scents. That fragrance is Mansara's Deep Forest. Mansara's Deep Forest is extremely medicinal, woody, and it has an element of sweetness in it. It's exactly like the name says. I don't even need that many sprays. It is such a fresh, woody fragrance. And those two elements are interesting. It has somewhat of a effervescence. One can't even say like evergreen. It reminds me of like Dr. Pepper, woods, and mint. Something minty or eucalyptus like. I will say the fragrance itself is just a bit, the woodiness can come across a smidge stale, but it's a very fresh, woody, seductive fragrance. If you wanna smell different for autumn, Mancera's Deep Forest is the way to go. Next up, Tokyo Milk Dark Bulletproof by Marco Leno. Fall in a bottle, you hear me? Smoke tea, coconut milk, ebony woods and see them. That's what you're gonna get with this fragrance. It smells like a chai latte. There's something in here that kind of comes up leathery and it's a comfort fragrance. I really feel like when it's cold outside, wind, and you wanna curl up with a good book by a fireplace, this is the type of fragrance for that. Et voila. Mancera's Hindu Kush is very herbaceous and green. It feels like it is better suited for spring because that's when the green is happening. However, I find myself wearing this a bit more in fall. As you can see, it's a nice little dent in there. The dark, deep dankness of it, because it's fresh, yet musky, it's sweet, yet sour. It's a lot of different things at once. The dry down on this one is amazing on my skin. Now we're getting ready to get into the top 10. We have Mancera's Gold Incense. Mancera's Gold Incense is a fragrance that's heavy on vanilla, but there's a subtlety in this fragrance that I really feel like fall is the best time to rock it. It's fresh. It kind of reminds you of Soleil Tali with a lot of vanilla. Gold Incense is a slept on fragrance, I believe, because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it from the house of Mancera. And when I think about gold incense, the scent itself is not the name I would name this fragrance. But it's appropriate because it's very regal and royal and the color of gold is my style of gourmand in vanilla. This is how I like my gourmands with those. Not extremely sweet, but present enough and different enough, you will be hard pressed to probably find somebody who is rocking this on a regular basis. So if you're interested in unique fragrances, Golden Sense by Mancera. Coming up to our number nine spot, Montal Wood and Spices. This fragrance is one of the more designery style releases from a niche fragrance house. It has a deep, dark smoldering style to it is very appropriate for this style of season it's getting ready to get cooler we're wearing sweaters and hoodies and layering up and all that type of things and this is a very layered fragrance i get some incense some smokiness some spices a hint of wood some musk it smells fantastic on talls wood and spices do yourself a flavor you know what this smells like this smells like bond number nine lafayette street very sexy for a man. Very sexy for the gentleman. All of the fragrances that I'm featuring today are technically unisex. Coming up to number eight spot, Mancera's Purple Flowers. It's a floral that you can wear in the wintertime. And although grape is not listed in this fragrance lineup, I don't know if it's the fact that it is a purple bottle that makes me think of grapes or that the way that the florals are laid together and strategically placed throughout the note breakdown that make this fragrance remind me of the Jolly Joes, which I now call Mike and Ike's. But the Jolly Joes had that waxy, candy-like jamminess, and that's what I think it is. This has a jammy rose where it lends to that sweet, thick, purple 
grape jelly-like pour. They didn't do this fragrance any favors with naming it Purple Flowers. <laughs> because most men are not gonna be like, ooh, Purple Flowers. It's the jamminess that really wins this fragrance over for me. So, get into it. Purple Flowers by Mancera. Coming up to our number seven spot, Mancera Wind. Sarah Winwood is in a league of its own. The fragrance itself is like nothing I've ever smelled, but it reminds me of certain things. Violet is listed in this fragrance note breakdown, and it has that kind of, that diesel fuel, gasoline, and Dior's Fahrenheit has. It's like pine, cedar. I can only think to wear this in the autumn transition into fall. It's a perfect cooler weather fragrance. That's a nice size den in there for me. nowhere near needed. Coming up to our number six spot, Montal's Blue Matcha. Has that sweet creaminess. There's a hint of leather in here that offers that bit of rigidity to make the fragrance sit up like new titties. Fragrance, these type of fragrances need to be experienced. These types of fragrances in the niche realm need to be sampled, worn, and experienced to get the full gist of what I'm talking about here. But if you can think of leather, matcha, tea, creamy sandalwood, with a little bit of sweetness like vanilla, that's what you got with this. This fragrance is slept on as well. So Montal's Blue Matcha is going to be number Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share, friend, tell a friend. Bring them on over to the uncommon side of things, okay? Okay. Coming up to the number five spot. Lotus and Parfumers Noir Exquis. Noir Exquis, Noir Exquis, is a fragrance that is very smoky, resinous, sweet, black tonic, and vanilla. It's the best way to describe it. If you like Amaretto, whiskey, it's like aged whiskey in a barrel heat with some smoke to it. Like a campfire nearby. This is very close to Maison Margiela's By the Fireplace. If you like that style of fragrance, you will enjoy this. If you were to mix Rensoir by MFK, Maison Francis Kirchner, and By the Fireplace together, that's what you get with Narski. As you can see, that bad boy has been worn. This is one of my most worn fragrances so far. Coming up to our number four spot, Raja Dove. Enigma. It's very much like the name. It's so hard to describe. Much like the name implies, it's elusive, but it is signature. It too has somewhat of a minty quality, but that cola effervescence with a little bit of that sweetness kind of reminds me of a root beer float with sandalwood and something a bit minty freshness that goes along with it. This is a grown man fragrance right here. You ain't a grown man if you don't enjoy this. I said it. Coming up to our number three spot, Mancera's Crazy for Oud. It's one of the better ouds in the line for me. Tiramisu, whiskey, It is entrancing how good this smells. This fragrance gets even better in the dry now. As you go through all the different phases, I and mean, it has amazing longevity and excellent projection. Most of the fragrance that I am featuring here last at least seven to eight hours on the skin. It is amazing that these fragrances last and can fight through the cold to produce the level of sophistication and scent that is gonna be pushing out throughout the time that you wear. You need to enjoy these fragrances with me. They remind me of class, sophistication, and elevation. And if you're that type of individual that enjoys that type of air, you're in the right place. Such a sexy fragrance, I can never get enough of it. I get compliments up to wazoo when I wear this fragrance. Coming up to our number two spot, I just gotta stop and talk about the presentation of this fragrance, top tier. That fragrance is Tiziana Terenzi's To Life. Look at that. Look at that. Still, 
Titian Terenzi's Talitha is wood and leather dominant. I wore this fragrance in the winter time, roughly my birthday. And it was one of those fragrances at first, I didn't get a chance to enjoy it as much. The opening is a little bit tough. It has that quality, nutty, creamy, kind of Tom Ford fucking fabulous in the opening. But the dry down with the leather, the woods, and that creamy, smooth, nutty scent is like a comfort fragrance. The woodsiness of this one, if you like smelling, if you like woodsy fragrances, Tiziana Terenzi's Talitha is the woodsy Oteen. It's very masculine to me. I do not know many women that would probably want to smell like woods, nuts, not those types of nuts, woods, nuts, and leather. But if you're out there, ladies, this may be a gem. You made it to the number one spot. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and get into it. Number one spot's gonna go to Mancera's Amber Fever. That is a long bed BR540 style sweetness. that bubble gumminess of the sweet fragrances shines through here. This is indeed a unisex fragrance. I see probably more women liking this than the men or males, but Amber Fever is undeniably sexy. It too is hard to explain other than the BR540 style without that medicinal thing the BR540 can have. The Amber is dialed up and it has a soapy clean sweetness to it that just smells good this just smells amazing also this will do well for accepting layers layering with this fragrance you're not gonna go wrong oh it's so sexy kind of has that invictus style sweetness would be our 540 dna that's why i can describe that but it's still its own fragrance. Don't get that part misconstrued. There's elements of it that remind me of other things. So, number one, Amber Fever. Watch this video and you find it to be of value, please do me a favor and subscribe and turn on the bell so that you can get notified when I release new content, which is gonna be at least once a week, okay? It's been your man on Common Sense and I appreciate you getting fly what you got and we're gonna get ready to get out of here. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Top to sides and all the way around. Lift it up, put a little love on bottom, put it down, put a little bit of love on top. Now, till next time. All right. Bye.